open by May of this year. Anne Marie Arcero is from the Horrell Academy. We've had this property in for the last five years now. We've been trying really, really hard all these years, and finally we're seeing it through. We haven't given up. We never gave up. And so we finally see the, the beginning of something very, very wonderful for our children and the people of Guam, something that we can call our own on this nine-acre property from Tomorrow Land Trust. We're going to finally make something of this so that our traditional artists can pass on to our children our traditional arts and our language and culture. Our cereal hopes to be housed in Tumon this summer. We're breaking ground. We're going to get ready for the summer. Uh, we should be moving up here for summer. We'll have our Horal Academy summer camp up here. Uh, the first phase is going to be to fix three houses. It's going to go in phases. And so we'll have three houses done and then work. There's eight homes actually up here that need to be restored. And we appreciate all the help we can get. You can call us at, at Horal Academy if anybody wants to donate or make a contribution. This is for everybody to use and so anybody who or organization who wants to come out and help for this cause please please get a hold of us and uh, come out and join us so that we can make this ours it is ours it's for our children and so where we take it from here is going to make the difference of preservation of our language and culture and there's no, no hard cash it's all corporate sponsorships and uh, one of our main sponsors is Chugach um, Alaska and uh, they've been really wonderful. They've stepped up to the plate of all the sponsorships, uh, corporate sponsors that we've been trying to recruit. Chugach has been the first one to actually step up to the plate. GTA is one of them. I don't want to keep naming everybody. I might forget someone, but um, they've been here with us. Uh, GTA has uh, uh, been here with us since day one. Uh, they, they've contributed everything they could possibly. They brought the water in, and uh, uh, they could, uh, we've had Chugach, and we have uh, Forsyth uh, uh, Public Relations. This is all contribution to this cause. It's a bittersweet moment for Hural and the island of Guam. I feel like very soon I could rest a little. <laughs> it's been a long time, and it's been a lot of work. Um, uh, it's a sweet, sweet moment today for me because my family, my husband and my children, we put a lot of work in along with uh, all of the cultural artists and, and the Horal Academy staff. We put in a lot to this from day one and we stuck it out. And so today is a very sweet day for us to finally see something, a dream unfold to a reality. Cultural advocate and University of Guam President Dr. Robert Underwood said an immersion program will help perpetuate the Chamorro language and culture. Our academy just doesn't talk about it, they live it, and uh, they need to be supported. And so looking forward to this cultural center so that it can be a, a beacon of hope and a very, uh, you know, for the past few years, very dispiriting uh, kind of situation for the future health of the Chamorro language and culture. I have every confidence for them. I've uh, worked with them. They, many of them were my students many, many years ago. So uh, it's very gratifying, and uh, I'm, I just wish them all the best. And this is... This this is, uh, you know, one of the most important things we can do as a society. He says the immersion program has worked in other parts of the world and is hoping it'll work for Guam. They do it on a kind of a part-time basis or on an ad hoc basis. And uh, we, you know, I remember back in 1982, we started something called Fanedzakan. It was the same kind of principle, you know, uh, Chamorro language immersion. Uh, you know, if people really understood Chamorro language immersion, uh, you know, you could be speaking tomorrow in three months if you really wanted to participate in Chamorro language immersion. That's why this is, this, this, this works. It works. It works in New Zealand. It's working in Hawaii. And anybody who thinks that the Chamorro language is, uh, is, uh, is, is on a glide path to failure just doesn't understand that it is, it is retrievable uh, for people who only have a little familiarity with it. But uh, it's going to work, and I just, I'm happy as heck. With the Hural kids already speaking the language, Underwood says it's something we should all be proud of.